humble yourself right where you're at, no matter where you're at. If you'll just get down on your knees and be humble with God. Somebody said, well, I don't know how to pray. That's all right. Talk to God just like you talk to me. Tell him what shape you're in. Tell him what problem you're in. Uh, confess it to him. Repent of it. That means to tell him you're sorry and you're ready to turn from it, but you ain't got the power to turn. But friend, the Bible said he came on to his own and his own received him not, but as many as received him, to them gave he what? The power to become the sons of God. Man ain't got power to cleanse himself. He ain't got power to save himself, but God has all power to save to the uttermost all that will come unto him and to all that will call upon his name. Yeah. All that will call upon his name. Yes, and you know what he'll do? He'll give you what? The, what it says here. He'll create in you a clean heart yes. and renew a right spirit within you. Yes. A right spirit. And he says down here, he says, Cast me not away from thy presence. Take not thy Holy Spirit from me. He said, Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. Friend, I tell you what, there's joy and salvation yes. tonight, ain't there? Yes. There's joy unspeakable. Yes, oh, I tell you what, I tell folks all the time. It's better experienced than it is told. Yes, I, just, I wish I could, but I just can't put it in words. No. How good that it is to know, to know that you know, that you know, yes. that when this life is over, you're going home to be with yes. the Lord. Paul said to be absent from the body, be present with the Lord. Right. Do you have that assurance? Well, somebody said, well, I hope I do. Hope, hoping you won't get there. You've got to know. The Bible says you can know. The Bible said, how do you know you pass from death unto life? Because you have the love for the brother. And when God gives you that new birth, you're born again with the Spirit of God, and you're born then then with love. You can love the worst of worst. Yeah, you may not agree with him. You may not run with him, but you'll love him. You'll love him. How do you know? John says over here, listen to me. And I, I'm try, I'll hurry. And John over here, the, the first pistol of John, if you'll find it over there. Listen to what it says. He says, he, that, he says right here in the fifth, fifth chapter of 1 John, and he says in the ninth verse, he says, if we receive the witness of men, and that's what I'm doing to you tonight. I'm a witness to you, and the reason I know that what I'm witnessing to you is right, because I have the witness myself inside me that witnesses to what I'm preaching to you tonight is truth. And friend, there's a witness witnessing to you tonight, wherever you're at, that what this man's preaching to you is the truth, or you want to admit to it, or where you don't. Because listen, when I was lost and the preacher began to preach, the Holy Spirit let me know that what he was yes. preaching was truth. Yes, and I need to be obedient unto it. That's what he's wanting tonight. Obedience. Amen. Obedience. He's wanting obedience. And he said, if you'll receive the witness of men, he said, the witness of God is greater. For this is the witness of God, which he hath testified of his Son. And he said, he that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. There's another reason that I know that I've passed from death unto life, because I have the Holy Spirit. When, when I got born again, he told Nicodemus, he said, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Apart from the Spirit of God, you cannot know the things of God. But friend, the Spirit of God will preach to you just like he's preaching tonight. He'll testify to you. He'll speak not of himself. He'll speak not of another, but he'll speak of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And Christ said when he comes, he will teach you all things. Amen. Now that's the Holy Spirit's job. The Holy Spirit. And he said, He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not God hath made him a liar because he believeth not the record that God gave his Son. And he said, This is the record that God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. And he said, He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. That's pretty plain, ain't it? I want life, don't you? The Bible said the wages of sin is death. I don't want death. No, sir. I don't want death. No. The Bible said he that blessed and holy is he that hath first part in that first resurrection, which the second death hath no more power on. See, friend, there's a death that we all know about that first death. We all got to face it. But there's a second death, the Bible says, those that are not found written in the Lamb's book of life, they're going to be cast into a lake of fire, and it's not God that I want them to go there. The Bible says that hell was made for the devil and his angels, and it's not God's will that any go there. He says it's God's will that all be saved and go to heaven. But those that reject the truth, those that reject Jesus Christ, the only way to heaven. And I won't say that right now. He's the only way to heaven. He's the only way to the Father. There's no other name given unto heaven that wherein a man can be saved. Listen, he's the only way Christ said no man can come to the Father except 
except it come through me, and no man can come through me except the Father which sent me drawing. So he's the only way to heaven, and he'll be that way from now on as long as time turns. He's the only way. He's the door into the sheepfold. Yes, sir. He's the door. And now he says it like this. He says, these things have I written unto you that believe on the name. Oh, boy, we got, we, we got some hope right here. That believe on the name of the Son of God that ye may know that you have eternal life and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. Yes, and he says, and this is the confidence now that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he heareth us, Whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petition that we desired of him. Yes, Boy, I'm glad that night I, I, I knelt down at that altar. I didn't know how to pray. I didn't know what to say. But the Holy Spirit of God at that moment, he taught me. He brought me to that altar. And when I knelt down there and I humbled myself, the Holy Spirit of God taught me how to pray. Here's the prayer I prayed, church. I said, Lord, be merciful unto me, a sinner. I'm sorry for my sin. Save me. And friend, he done exactly what I asked him. Because I asked it, it was his will. Yes, sir. 